Welcome back to another FPV Guy video. As you know, I'm hanging out at Innerdrone 2018 here in Las Vegas at the Rio Hotel, in case you missed it. Brought to you by carolinadrones.com. And I'm hanging out with Matt at Parrot. And Matt, this is one of the typical Parrot solutions. What is this? It's a beep up. That's right. Yeah. And it's an iPhone thermal camera. Yeah, this is a professional, one of the professional Bebop models that sell under Power Business Solutions. So this is a, a thermal camera. It's really um, a kind of multi-use thermal system. Um, it's uh, got a FLIR 1 Pro thermal camera. I have um, one of those for my iPhone. It works yeah, great. Yeah, exactly. And it's um, we're getting good traction with this um, in a range of kind of industries, but particularly like public safety kind of applications with firefighters. Okay. Um, also, some in agriculture where there's certain types of tasks where thermals really useful. I would um, imagine your typical uh, home inspection guy would use one of these. Yeah, they could do in building inspection. It will show if there's a leak in a roof. Exactly. Yeah. So it's really that kind of size and price point that, that makes it a, a good entry level into that. Price point wise, right? this is $1,500. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Which is, honestly, there's nowhere else you can get a thermal kit for 1500 bucks that flies. Yeah, yeah. Barely, barely sits on the ground. Yeah, and um, exactly. So I think that's why it's having good pickup on this model. And, uh, and what I'm, when you talk to customers, they're always particularly impressed with the stabilization that you get with the Bebop. Like you can bring that thing around and the image just doesn't move. So. Well, the thermal does, though, because the thermal is just kind of sitting in the back. <laughs> well, you, so you the way it works is up here you have the beep up video, the regular, mm -hmm. and yeah. when you click on the remote, it does a 180, and now it's looking at the subject using the thermal camera. Yeah. <laughs> and first time I saw that, I was like, what the? The thing like, it push the button, and it just literally turned around. So the way it was looking at what I saw on my screen now became what I saw in thermal. Yeah. And the bird was still flying forward this way because it switches the controls when it switches around, yeah. which is kind of confusing <laughs> until you it takes realize. Getting used to it. Yeah, it's like for me, I was like, ah, what just happened? <laughs> but, but it's really, it's a super light bird. Yeah. And, and what what it really is is you have like a 60 by 80 pixel thermal sensor in here, and it's more than enough to see if there's a heat leak on a wall. Yeah. It's probably not beneficial for search and rescue. Exactly, it's for those kind of closer applications where you're flying close to the building, you're not gonna fly it hundreds and hundreds of meters away. Um, but then, yeah, you've got that flexibility of the two sensors. So the, you've got a Flare 1 Pro and then you've got the 1080 video on the other end. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but it also it does have the visual and thermal that it overlays <laughs> yeah. in the Flare 1 exactly. style, which is really helpful because it shows you the lines of what it's videoing and then it throws the thermal on top yeah, of that. Exactly. So for $1,500, this is, as I said, it's one of those typical parrot solutions. They do a consumer product, and then they find a way to turn it into a commercial product. And also, the Bebop does look good in black. <laughs> so there you have it, guys. Stay tuned for more Interdrone 2018 videos, and Matt, thank you so much for your time. You're welcome, you too.